three Pacific island countries, Palau, Marshall Islands, and the Federated States of Micronesia, have a warning of sorts for the United States. Clear funds, else China is just waiting to make inroads. These three countries are members of what is called Compacts of Free Association or COFA. It's an arrangement that goes back decades, according to which the United States offers economic assistance in exchange for military access to large strategic areas in the Pacific Ocean. It's seen as a move to counter growing Chinese influence in the Pacific. Last year, the Biden administration renewed the arrangement for another 20 years, but funding is yet to be cleared by the US Congress. The United States plans to spend a little over $7 billion on the three countries. Why are these countries important for America? In Palau, the US military is planning to have advanced over-the-horizon radar systems by 2026. The Pentagon thinks this will add to early warning capabilities in the Western Pacific to counter any Chinese misadventure. The Marshall Islands serve as key missile test sites for the US. It's also a vantage point to monitor foreign space and missile activities. If a conflict breaks out with China in the South China Sea or the Taiwan Strait, these three countries will come in handy for America. The Pentagon is worried that if funds are delayed, these three countries with a combined population of just over 2 lakh people may be prone to Chinese coercion. And that's not without reason. This letter written by the President of Palau earlier this month to a US Senator says China has begun making financial offers. That includes filling every hotel room in Palau and more if more are built into shift alliances. The president says China has also offered $20 million a year for creating a call center in Palau, a country whose economy depends heavily on tourism. In this letter, written by the president of Marshall Islands, there's mention of carrot and stick efforts by China to shift alliances, including discontinuing support for Taiwan. She also writes, Further delay threatens to undermine confidence in the US and to encourage some to agree to PRC enticements. The message is loud and clear. China is making waves in the Pacific. The US needs to act now.